What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we got the Integra budget and we're gonna be uh, changing out because I have a PND automatic which is an RSX um, base automatic ECU which if you guys didn't know if you're running it as a obviously this is that's considered a budget option it's a little bit cheaper than your other ones obviously a manual one so be a little bit more expensive um, and then obviously the type S, cream of the crops can be expensive as well but this is a cheaper alternative the only problem is since it's an automatic you're gonna have to bypass the VSS directly to the ECU otherwise um, it won't read the uh, odometer miles per hour you'll just get this crazy signal and it'll just start kind of like just like moving almost if you're driving the car because it doesn't it doesn't know what to do but today I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and a lot of the stuff that you have here it already comes with K-Pro uh, so let's let's get right into it so obviously the first thing you're gonna do if you already have your ECU like me you install this you're gonna obviously take it back out and uh, what you're going to be doing is uh, you got the ECU here you're just gonna get a screwdriver it's gonna have uh, right there four screws on each side you're gonna remove it then you're gonna see the lovely uh, K-Pro motherboard in there is super nice and then you're gonna take um, your if you got it directly from on that I'm not sure any other um, dealerships but uh, you should get two of these and they both have the same little numbers in here so it's, it's identical you can't can't get them wrong and then um, what you're going to be doing is you're gonna be putting this one right over here all right so it's gonna look something like this I see you want the red one and then uh, on that it was nicely or maybe because of how the ECU is but you got a little gap there I tried squeezing it there but ain't no way it's gonna go through there it's too tight but yeah I have it through here you guys can see it's sticking right through here and then but it's your option you, know, you can probably have it out here if you want to extend the eight um the eight pl uh connector i mean uh, uh wire but yeah i'm gonna have it something like this kind of like all on one side of the ecu and then uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just close it out it's up to you you can zip tie it you know have it how you want it but i'm gonna have it just like this why well, i have second thoughts and i went ahead and did this have a loop like that and then all the wires are pretty much just in this corner and then I got the red one which that's what you're going to be the net uh, red one and you're gonna just pretty much put it right in here Jeez, bro. oh my god after for what it seemed forever which I even busted like you can see that big old go um, I was able to pull it out um I don't know that <laughs> <laughs> it's uh good now um these are a pain to take out especially look how i am right now i should have done this when i was out um but it's fine if anything i'll probably if, if i change ecus or whatever i'll probably just get another plug and then uh painstakingly put everything back together but this time i'll be out of the vehicle so it should be a lot easier to deep in and then if anything, I'll just break the plug. Um, and then once you get a new one, it'll be easy just to put everything back in there. But yeah, it's, it's okay. But yeah, all you're going to do is going to locate down back here. As you guys can see, it's going to be alpha A pin 9. It's going to be a white and green, which is right here. And this is your VSS signal directly from the vehicle itself. So what we're gonna do is gonna bypass that with that red wire that I was showing you guys. All right, everybody. So I uh, completely forgot to continue uh, the uh, video. It's been a while as a lapse. Had a little issues with the clusters, but I gotta sort them out. And I'm here to explain a little bit further to finish out the video. Uh, so if you guys see, uh, think courtesy of a key tune onion harness, which is the same as an RSX, you're gonna locate right there. I'm gonna point it out the uh, connector A you're going to locate a specific pin from it in order to make this work with your automatic ECU like the PND from the RSX base automatic alright so I went ahead and just used simple stuff you can use around so I mean it's not the prettiest but here we got a little like kind of like a splice connector and then I see the A19 uh, and then it's like with the ECU wire and then I did this to retain that way I don't have to cut anything it's up to you whatever your heart desire you can splice use the different butt connectors 
use uh, other splice connectors it's up to you but this is how I did it and that should suffice so let me go ahead and start installing everything back together so here we have the information directly from on data so if you guys are interested Google it uh, find it out for yourself right there I'll try my best to see if I can link it there for you guys to have that information but here is the information it also tells you the part numbers of the ECU uh, that are compatible with uh, this upgrade or you know the differences of you know not using a manual one uh, it has tons of information out there as well for those that um, are you know seeking and learning about this and how it works uh, but this is just what I'm going to be providing so far so if you have any of these issues it's gonna work alright so here we have the connector A like I was telling you to reference on one of the the last uh, slides or the last uh, picture that I was showing you guys that's the pin right there that you're going to be putting it it's a little hard for me to see I believe it's a pin A18 so that's what you're going to be depending and then you're going to connect connecting that red wire from the ECU directly onto it keep in mind automatics do not have that VSS like manual uh, do so you're gonna have to bypass this directly and this is how you're gonna do it alright so this is where you have to pay attention see the arrows you're gonna go to parameters miscellaneous from there you're going to go to the speed sensor and then you're gonna uh, click alternate speed input remember it does say there K Pro 4 only so if you have one or two I mean one or three I believe or two I'm not sure uh, then you might have to look to see what it offers but uh, then you're gonna go and put then you're going to input sorry uh, on the calibration 2485 and then on the smoothing you're gonna put 10 you're gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is and then uh, you're going to uh, if anything I don't think you have to change the little KS on the side I apologize corrections uh, the KM uh, and then yeah you upload it and you test it out uh, and sure enough you should have your uh, miles per hours working with an automatic uh, K-series ECU like the PND from uh, RSX Automatic but yeah it's gonna conclude everything guys I hope it helps uh, somebody out there that is going through the same uh, issue. Um, and you guys want to, you know, bless me. Make sure to uh, com, comment, like, uh, and then also press that notification uh, bell icon for more more videos. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys, and see you guys.